I'm Anatola, artist, futurist, and filmmaker, reimagining the future one story at a time. I believe that stories have the power to make true and lasting change, and that's why I'm here with Road Trip Nation, driving their bright green RV all around the country to hear the stories of people who are changing the world in their own unique ways. When most people think of volunteering, they think of picking up trash on the beach. And yes, that's amazing, but there are so many more ways to volunteer. <laughs> In this series, we're going to meet volunteers who are reimagining service for our generation. Let's go meet the new volunteers. So before driving across the country, I had to learn to drive a giant 30-foot RV, which is hilarious since I just started driving last year. Luckily, my crew, Justin and Aiden, were there learning right along with me. And this is Gil, our amazing driving coach. All right. Come here. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I decided to give it a space theme makeover because a sci-fi short film I made actually got sent to the moon. <gasps> yes! Yo. Yep, this is where I belong. This is dope. <laughs> Sequence engaged, we are go. I am so, so, so happy to be back in my hometown, New York City. One of my favorite parts about New York is how many opportunities there are for young people to get out there and engage in their communities and make the world a better place while they're at it. So we're going to talk to volunteers who are doing just that, going out there, making a difference, and using their passions to create a world they love. Today, we're talking with the trailblazing co-founder of Freedom March NYC, Chelsea Miller. And we're gonna paint a mural with young artists from Groundswell Community Mural Project. So let's go hear their stories. Chelsea is an expert on building community and inspiring the next generation of change makers. So I wanted to talk to her first. Hi! Oh my gosh! I'm so great. It's so Being nice. Being born to and raised you. in New York, everything all at once is happening. And so, how do we make sure that we are at the table of where these conversations are happening and these decisions are made about our lives? Mm -hmm. So, you started organizing as a student. How do you think that you found that courage to start something bigger than yourself at a young age? I would say that there's something about our generation that's just like really unapologetic. When I think about Freedom March NYC, the reason why we became so large so quickly was because we used social media as a toolkit to be able to engage with people from their homes. Right at the time, remember, everyone was quarantined. And so we organized a nonviolent protest to take place in New York City. So I say that we posted the flyer at 12 p.m. on social media, and by 8 p.m., we had organized one of the largest nonviolent protests take place in New York and honestly the country. After that, we stayed on the front lines. We organized demonstrations, direct actions, marches, sit-ins, you name it, helping young people to learn how to organize in their community. When I think about our generation, we are incredibly creative, we are knowledgeable, we are scrappy, and so really being able to use all the things that are our strengths to further strengthen our movements. So first of all, I love how we were just in sync somehow this morning, because why are we wearing the same color jacket? No, literally, I love this for us. <laughs> it was great chatting with Chelsea, so I invited her to come with us to Groundswell in the bright green RV and share her story. Oh, I think I see it now. That would be it. I'm so excited. I love, 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 love talking about the intersections of art and activism. I think this is a long overdue collab, and so I think it's going to be a lot of fun. If you can say one piece of advice to a young person who wants to change the world but might not know where to start, what would you tell them? Use every environment as a place to grow and continue to, you know, blossom into to whatever you're doing with your life. That you do this work so that you can 
pass the baton to the next generation and hopefully the race is a lot easier. It was awesome to check out Groundswell's amazing studio space. There was paint everywhere and it made me feel right at home. When we started, our team felt like it was really important to give young people access to speak out about issues that were important to them. The idea was to use public art to give voice to people's lived experience, particularly young people. So we started over 25 years ago and have created over 600 murals across New York City with thousands and thousands of young people. I love painting, so it was so much fun to get my hands dirty and help the volunteers bring this mural to life. And it was so inspiring to see how art and service has impacted their lives while doing something that advances their future. This place has been my savior, not gonna lie, because it's been a place that's just been there for me whenever I needed them and it's just been a place where I met so many great people that make me laugh every day. What's your favorite part about volunteering with Groundswell? Uh, getting to make art and also being with the community, honestly. It's really fun. I made some good friends here. I think if more people found what they're interested in in terms of volunteering, they could actually meet some really cool people and then get more experience in the field that they want to go into. Why do you think that it's so important to spark change through mural painting? I mean, mural painting has a really long history of social activism. The murals last a very long time, and so you really have stories, you know, for decades that are, are there as sort of monuments to people's life. We went to the same middle school. Okay, who's your humanities teacher? Is it still Mike, I think his name? Mike right is here? still there, oh yeah. My God. How do you think that? Volunteering to make art like this has an impact in the issues that you care about. Really important because you can like bring awareness through like things that like you want to support. And if you like volunteer for them, you can like bring other people into it. And it's just like a really good like experience. Totally. Grounds will really truly help me figure out that there's actually a career within art. And it's it's a career that can have so many bases of people and connections that you can make. If I could say one word that I want the future to look like, it'd probably just be creative. I want everyone to get a chance to express themselves. And do you think that young people can change the world? Definitely. Young people are like the face of the world in the future. The next day, we had a chance to see more of Groundswell's murals that are already up in the city. I was so glad to have two amazing tour guides with me. We had Brandon, who went from volunteer to staff at Groundswell, and Claudine, Groundswell's communication specialist. Walk us through the story of this mural, Water is the Life of NYZ. All water is free, no water belongs to anyone, and we should be able to have clean access to healthy drinking water. So when we see murals like this, it opens up a conversation, a dialogue of like, okay, how do we help those in need? What was the process of young people visualizing this story and putting the importance of conserving water into this art piece? We like do activities where we're like, hey, listen, what's a social justice issue that's relevant to you? So it's inspired by the community conversations and then the lead and assistant artist they take all those sketches, those drawings, those ideas, and they compile it into one final design. I loved meeting Claudine and Brandon because they both made social impact a huge part of their artistic practices. Back me up. Bam! <laughs> so unfortunately, I won't be able to be with you guys in the next mural, but uh, I am featured in it, and I do sort of a pose. Um, so it goes something like this, where like I'm sort of like reaching down to like put the sunlight into the ground to feed the plants. That's beautiful! Whoever may need this nugget of encouragement, things will be all right, so quit your word with me. I get it. The eyes can stack back against the wall, but even consider... Groundswell is not just about beautification. There's a lot of symbolism. Every time you come back to it, you're like discovering something new. These like hidden messages or messages from the youth. These murals were about so many complex issues. They showed me that volunteering to make art can leave real and lasting change. Also, riding around reminded me how special it was to have grown up in New York City. 
Well, I used to do some karaoke down here back in my day. Don't let one bad apple spoil the tree. The fruits of our labor seem ripe, can't you see? A little insight, so they'll never give me light. They're wrong for too long, this hip is so right. Leave your fears in the rear view right now on the mission. Trying to stay the course on this road to redemption. Giving up seems tempting, but no need. Cause I got you and you got me. A little you and I. Why will get us by through the storm and the rain? I'll be by your side. Look alive. It is very moist. And I'm very happy with that. You've been looking for a breakthrough. Trying our best to make do. Every day is something new. But change gonna come. Oh, yes, it's true. I think that volunteering is as diverse and different as there are people on the planet. It is about community and the power that communities can have on people. Whatever passion you have, you can find the space to live in and to express yourself in. There are ordinary people doing extraordinary things. So change is not unattainable. What it requires is just showing up. So you have to show up for your vision. You have to show up for your dreams. And then the world will show up for you. In New York, thank you for who you are because there is no place like you. There is no place like home. And I'm happy that through these busy streets are still people who are passionate, doing good, and giving back. And I mean, look at this view. That is my city. Yeah. We outie. Well, I made it to the next stop in my road trip. Where am I? Make sure to like and subscribe to meet the innovators we speak to next. Thanks to the Allstate Foundation for fueling this series. It's just one of the ways they're working to empower youth to serve and improve their communities.